In a game where everybody's saying, right now, you better embrace the booze. Marv Alpert already said he's been doing broadcasting since Lyndon Johnson days. I don't know if he wants to put that out there. He says, I've never seen the setup and enhancement of coverage. Media is going to have all types of angles catching every response for they th- what they think is the- going to be the loudest chorus of booze, even compared to Kobe. You know, Do you believe that to be the case, Mario? Yeah. I don't well, mm-hmm. possibly. Uh-huh. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. You've been hearing other things. Some people have frankly moved on. You think so? Yeah. And uh, but I, I expect it. I, I expect it to be a lot of booze because, well, first of all, the team is playing pretty poorly. It it is having its problems as we've you already know, documented. So, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, it's certainly a possibility, but they, and I'm sure they'll have wonderful security, right? Well, you know. <laughs> Of course. And that's what Marv is saying. Marv is saying, I hope that this doesn't get out of control. First of all, you have the owner who's just praying that the team. Oh, he was an ass. (laughs) You see, there you go. He was an ass. (laughs) Well, I'm going to say this. I mean, it just was. That's what you call me. We've all, okay, I've been an ass before. That's his time. (laughs) Wait a minute. Here's all the things. We've all had ass moments. Okay. Here's something that's going to be added to this coverage. Because if it's TNT, you're going to get Charles Barkley and the crew. You're going to get Marv Alpert and them on the floor. TNT has added extra sideline and locker room cameras and overhead camera shots and will bring its studio show crew on site for a ratings jackpot that just happened to be scheduled in a national TV time slot. They're bringing the rain on this one. And let me tell you what what makes it even more interesting, Mario. The idea that Miami is underperforming. At the same time, LeBron still shows the... It's a night and day issue. When he was in Cleveland, he was happy-go-lucky. Now when he comes in to why so serious... Then you go, is it more important to hear how many boos he's going to get or how loud the boos will be? Or does it make any difference if Miami wins or Cleveland win? What do you think is more, what's going to be I more? think the most important thing is to show growth and move through this. That's be, either way it goes. Because actually, the winning, let's for a minute, mm-hmm. let's just say that the winning or the losing doesn't matter for a minute. And I know people would object to that. But I, right. guess, I think it's how you handle everything. Because right? mm-hmm. you can mishandle it in a win and mishandle it in a loss. So I think he needs to show a certain kind of class. Right. He needs to deal with the pressure. If they do boo them, he has to be prepared for the boos. Right. And handle that in a professional way. And most importantly, it's important for the team just to make, as they need to do anyway. Right. To just make a some to make some solid uh, statements and pre- show some presence and organization and approach. So that's more importantly, really, than than the stuff. Because the, the other stuff is really more hype. And he really can't let it get into his head like that. He really can't. Right. And that's why I say, win or lose, you can mess this up. Even I, in true, a win. True, true. And if, even winning it. Right. Just imagine if they crushed him right. and he acted in ass. Right. Like they booed. Right. That would be inappropriate. I don't think he would do that. I think he has to just try to show class and deal with it. I agree with you. Now, now here's the question, because at the end of the day, I think people are more interested in the, the, the way it's going to be handled. I think the biggest thing is going to be the post-game interview, because will the post-game interview be held on the floor, on the court floor, or will it be in the locker room? But they have full control of that. So right. what, makes that what makes that so good is that that's a non-stress item for me. Because they'll make the they'll make the decision based on security issues. Of course. So we'll probably be in another spot. That's what and I was I'm thinking. Sure they'll, they'll do it. And I'm sure they'll proceed in a secure, in a secure way. And I don't know about how because the commissioner see football they've been a lot more aggressive. Right. Uh, even though I think they're, they're looking at this too, uh, but it depends how much the league is really on them right. to handle this in a certain way. Yeah, I, I think agree. the league is going to be on them. There's too much money involved. There's too much litigation possibility. Right. So if they were to really mess it up, I right. would be really surprised. It would really show a real lack. Right. In other words, if they do anything but an exceptional job at laying this out mm-hmm. and handling it, then they really blew it. Well, and I agree with you because I think the par- the the person I remember as embracing the booze who actually thrived off of it. I don't think it was anybody better as it relates to his mentality. There may have been p- better performers like Jordan, but Reggie Miller actually loved this. You could see oh, him. Oh, see that's where and that I I don't mind and I don't mind using him totally as an example. Yeah. He had the my right degree of anger. Yes. 
and but yet keeping his mouth shut for the that's most right. part and putting it into the. I love that's a wonderful example, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> See, you're, wrong. you're the man. Wait a minute, you're the man, Reggie. Look, think about it right now. You're the man, brother. He got Reggie got to do something that wasn't a, uh, you. It's not allowed to do anymore. I think you can't go down the court and do the chokehold. The idea that he's in Madison Square Garden, with Spike Lee on the sideline. He's it's Indiana Pacers. He's beating the Knicks, and he gets to go do the chokehold at the Knicks. Oh no! Because that, that, that whole thing to me was the but, progression but it, of how, what it meant. The meaning of meanings of everything changed both ways, right? Yes, it did. That's why we let Jesse use the N word <laughs> five hundred times during the show. Okay, because okay. it's more important that he has the freedom, I guess, on that level than yeah. it didn't. Than to have censorship. I agree. Okay. okay but that's right. everybody has to deal with that. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, let me do this then. Let's try to get in the mind of LeBron, which we know we cannot. But if we had to say how significant. Oh. <laughs> you're wrong. So how, how significant is the Cavalier Heat game to LeBron James? If you had to rate that one to ten, and you don't know anything but what you know now, and being in his position. Ten. How sig- <laughs> ten, even if you're trying to tell yourself it's not a ten. <laughs> It's a 10, but you're supposed to be telling yourself it's an 8. Okay. Or it's, a, it's a regular game. Okay. But it's not a regular game, Vic. It's, uh, let me tell you why. It's not just a... It's, 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 it's still a high level because it is in Cleveland. Right. It is that they haven't been playing well totally. It's right. all those things. And it, this, this even to me... Yeah. Okay. To me, part of the reason why he feels more pressure is that the focus is on him in a way that's like the playoffs were. Right. And that's where he didn't perform there the same as he should have either. Right. So it's ongoing from that, Vic. So it is all those pressure things, whether you want it or not. Yeah. And it's just some of it is the hostile fans. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I, agree. I, I named all those, and it wasn't even the hostile fans. It's right. just returning to the old club, even if it wasn't a really hostile, right? Right. Just returning to the old club, even when it's friendly, is extra pressure, right? Right. It is. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. No, I agree. So I don't, if, you know. if, if it was an enemy on the team, I remember when Cleveland a couple of years ago had to go through the playoffs and they had the Washington Bullets or Washington, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And just the way the attitude of the players on Washington was ready to sit back and say, we're going to make this a little bit physical. Unfortunately, the team was a losing team, Washington, so you couldn't gear up. Right. If they had some type of players that, you know, some antagonists on Cleveland, it would make a better story. But you don't have nobody There's on nobody that team. To Nothing. Right, so it's hard to make it as significant because the teams. I okay, don't get it. Okay, wonderful point, Vic. Because the teams don't have a big rivalry. That's right. There's no real. In other That's words, it's not. not a special big thing nope. between the play. It's the. This is about the fans. Yeah, you don't even see LeBron. No, no. See, if LeBron was being happy go lucky in the Maybe, Miami yeah. Heat and coming in going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would add more to it no, because he's you can write happy the story. Look, cause to me, the reason why he's not happy, it goes back to the whole playoff thing. Right. He has that additional pressure right. now because it's still implied that he put this together. In other words, okay, is it just me or is, the, is it more pressure being applied to LeBron than Wade and Bosch combined? It, easily. Easily. Times two, right? Oh, yeah, times you would three think or four. Be, right, yeah, which is kind of, you know, you would think, okay? Yeah. yeah, no, I agree with you. I mean, see, the part that is, if they had that rivalry, it would extend beyond the, throughout the season. But since Cleveland doesn't look like, it, at this time, they may have a chance, you know, fighting for that eighth position, it would have more story behind it. But right now, you know, it's going to be just the attitude of LeBron and how he plays. And that's right. about it. So, okay, well, now I'm going to go to the next one. I have to go into this. Nobody's even reporting on this because it's not an issue yet. And I'm asking the question, really, which I think has already been scrambling around on a lot of people's head and part of the Dallas Cowboys uh, organization. Who is going to be the coach in 2011? And I have three picks here. They're my picks. Nobody else put those up there. I have John Gruden. He's an analyst right now. Bill Cower. Both are Super Bowl, you know, of course, champion coaches. And then I have the present coach jason garrett now if you had an empire mario the size and the investment of the dallas cowboys and you're jerry jones out of these three where do you think you will get the best results in return on think about it now you got jason garrett who's pulling out plays right now that they say you know it's interesting that he's doing plays with the team with the cowboys that were not used when of course wade was there so i like the job he's done for the most part okay especially that way you know what? I, I this this really involves understanding the mind of Jerry Jones, and I can't presume. And I really wonder because you always wonder who 
See, with people like him, it's a, so much of an issue with the personality. So it's a best guess right. of the personalities, right? Right. I think because John, I think first of all, Jason Garrett has done incredible jo- has done a credible job, right? But I don't think it's an automatic shoe in job, right? I agree. Okay, I, now, I agree. I, I did. I thought that the issue with Bill Cowher was that he wasn't available. I think Bill is waiting for the best opportunity. Really, I do. I do. I don't know if Dallas fits him. Well, he got a championship already, right? Yeah, that's why I don't know. But you know what? But Gruden. Man, I think Gruden wants it. And I think if Gruden wants it, right. I think if Gruden wants it, it's his to have. But, but you if do he wants it. But you do know that that's a it's a meeting of the minds. Right, but I think right. that the, I think I think that he fits it well. And you could have Gruden take keep Jason Garrett on as offensive coordinator. Do you know that? Yeah. And I, and the part I'm saying I mean, here I'm not, I, I don't know that that wouldn't happen. Right. Right, I can't say it, and I'm not putting yeah, it out there. Jason I'm not Garrett, sure. Jason Garrett is a coveted right offensive coordinator, but being a coach off of what they call the America's team requires a lot more than just being an offensive coordinator. Well, that's why I don't know. That's why I said to me, if it was John Gruden, I'm guessing now. I think right. that if he wants it, you know, right. you know, like expresses a desire, right. where Cower will have to be courted. I think. I agree. I agree. And so I think if Gruden wants it, it would be his to have, and I I wouldn't be shocked. To have him get the coaching job and Jason Garrett to stay on as offensive coordinator. I wouldn't be shocked. No, I wouldn't be either. I'm expecting that Jason Garrett will be there for other reasons. But we're going to keep him for right. administration. Right. You now, Jerry Jones probably tell him, because he's a favorite son of Jerry Jones anyway. He is, and I do, I do think this. We always think about whether Jerry Jones is going to court somebody, and I always say, I be, always believe that coaches have back of their head interests. Winning a championship. Well, if you won at Pittsburgh, what's a better team? I mean, Pittsburgh has the most championship Super Bowls. You know right what now, right? it is? It's just a coward right now and has represented for a while. I read of some a reluctance to return to coaching. Dick, uh, to me, uh, no, tell me if I'm wrong. Has he? Has he not? Always, he has not at one point in time right. indicated not any desire to return to coaching. No, and we're not going to hear that because I think what happens is, is when you win a championship or a Super Bowl, you have a little leverage to turn around. I can be like well, plus, selective. Well, it, and it's, it, even without the leverage, it's a matter of where your head is. Do you want to remember he stopped? I know because of family stuff and all that. And I think I, he. I, right. I don't think he'll do it. Well, I, I, Gruden, <laughs> wa- Gruden to me wants to return to coaching. Yes, he does, and I think. Kyle, here's the part. I said, well, let's just say the ratings on the NFL's pregame show tank a little bit or go down. Now the options are that you have not a project to be on. It leaves you idle time. What's your first place do you think about going to? And I said, you always go back to coaching. It's in your blood. Yeah, even though, like I said, that's the difference. To me, Gruden is not that kind of decision. Yeah. He is doing analyst work as a sideline, as a backup career right. for the future but he, maybe, right? But mostly, he wants to be coaching the other stuff on the side. That's Got his you. fundamental thing. Yeah, Cower is different. He's had his. He might do it if it was a very lucrative. What? But the issue is, and, and maybe I can relate more to this. As I'm getting, what kind of challenges do you embrace at his point in time? I agree. Like you say, it, I don't, it could be leverage, but I just think it's he's done it, done it, been there, done that. Right. What What other challenges are you going to embrace now? Right. When you've done that, you know what work it is to pull it off, or do you want to do that? Yeah. And I don't know that he feels that way with his family and all that. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, like I said, where this is a hypothesis where it hasn't been out in the media, but I, I do believe it's coming because when you have such – when you have to return the dollar investment that you alone built on the stadium development, and now you're removed from even being involved in the playoffs almost, that just you have to make up your money and, and the merchandising and everything else. And I think players react to championships, Super Bowl.